Whereas even Louis Hospital was hosting its annual gala on September 11th, 2021, it didn't get to happen due to COVID. And this is it, offers a welcome opportunity to pay tribute to the hospital's unique legacy. And whereas from the very beginning, the hospital was a community effort built from the foundation up by area residents, including lawyers, members, and ministers, as well as plumbers, electricians who volunteered their work after hours, volunteered their work after hours for no pay, or the coffee and donuts with no government funding, the facility was built in nine months at a cost of thirty-six thousand one hundred and twelve dollars, with many of the materials contributed by donors. And whereas the first patient was an eight and a half pound baby boy, and the hospital's grand opening on June eighth, nineteen fifty-three, was attended by some two thousand people, approved by the American Medical Association as well as by other state and national hospital associations. Eastland Memorial has grown over the years into a regional institution and the Eastland Memorial Hospital District was created in 1989. And whereas today the hospital is overseen by a nine member board of directors and six local physicians make up the executive medical staff, while another 35 consultant and courtesy staff physicians provide expertise in urology, cardiology, urology, oncology, gastroenterology, and other specialties, it offers a comprehensive range of services including a level four trauma emergency room, surgical services, an acute care unit, outpatient specialty clinics, a pharmacy, a dialysis center, and a rehabilitation and wellness center. And whereas for nearly 70 years, countless residents of Eastland County and the surrounding area have depended on the care provided at Eastland Memorial Hospital. And it is a privilege to join and recognize the vital role this long-standing institution has played in the community. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the House of Represent Representatives of the 87th Texas Legislature, second called session, hereby commemorate the annual gala of East Memorial Hospital and extend to all those associated with the hospital sincere best wishes for continued success with their important work, and be it further resolved that an official copy of this resolution be prepared for East Memorial Hospital as an expression of high regard by the Texas House of Representatives. And this was certified that House H.R. number 70 was adopted by the House on August 30th, 2021 by a non-record vote and signed by the Speaker of the House, Chief Clerk of the House, and our State Representative Glenn Rogers from District 60. And we are thrilled to have on the stage with us Tim Matthews, the Administrator of East Memorial Hospital. And it's under his leadership and guidance of the Board of Directors and all the hard work that, that the first responders, the people on the front line at the hospital have done, they have brought our hospital to a point that is just amazing. So Ted, if you would accept the resolution from Terry, and let's give Ted and East Memorial Hospital a great round of applause for what they brought here right now. So is the, the fire truck bringing the, the flag right yeah. here? No, it's going to get hung up right there and it's going to stay there the whole time during the parade. Right there? Okay. Yes, sir. They'll probably extend that over the national anthem. Who's... That's going to happen during, uh, like, while it's a parade, like right at 10 Who's or 11. Somebody uh, that? Nancy Stewart, or sorry, uh, Lacey, Lacey Hayes, Jody Perez, and Debbie Stewart. Ooh, be good. So that's happening at, right at 11. All right, we'll, just yeah, we'll announce and go through. We're going to say the prayer, and then we'll do our national anthem. And then y'all got some script, and y'all will be saying your speech and finish with it by the time the cop cars come through, hopefully. We will. And if they fall down on that scene, JJ can spend more time. Oh, I think that's good. Oh yeah, I like it. That's a good idea, thank guys. Thank you, Debbie Lou. Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> hey, what a comment I say. We will hold it up. <laughs> We'll give you the cue. Okay, so let's go. Who's doing the prayer? I don't know. I could have ran and got it. The guy out of Cisco, Markman? Markman? Okay. Oh. I don't know. That's. Markman? That's what I said. That's what I said. That's what I said. They have a cookie freaking walk on the day we're having our parade over there. That's what I said. 
Um, duly noted. Duly noted. Exactly. <laughs> All right, I'm handing it over to you, gentlemen. Y'all have got this. I'm going to go stand out front. <laughs> well, I hate to open oh, that do you want to announce the raising of the flag ceremony? You can just announce it. There's nothing much to announce. Just say it's the raising of the flag ceremony. I think when but JJ's starting out, right? No, no, we're gonna go ahead and announce this at 10:45. We're two minutes late, so y'all just announce. Now they're gonna raise the flag. If you will look to the east, in the intersection, Eastland Fire Department is preparing their ladder truck to raise the flag of our United States. Something or not? What do we? Hey, Laura. No, nothing's happening right now. Okay. They are just right. raising it. That is it. Right. That will all happen during the actual parade okay. right. at 11. Oh. All right. I just. Oh, I'm sorry. You were just popping him in the head. <laughs> I thought you were scratching that itch I had. Oh my god. Can you keep doing that? <laughs> I can't get Robin to. Oh. I mean, everyone knew it was going to rain today, so everyone could have grabbed an umbrella, right? Yeah, absolutely. This is still a success. Yeah, had, yeah. Had we, had we not postponed it, it probably rain. It would have. Exactly. She is. She doesn't like me. <laughs> Half of Eastland doesn't either, so after last night of me calling and yelling at people. I'm pretty sure there's a step two after you raise the flag. <laughs> uh, it's in the book. Okay, hang on. No, we are going to do the national anthem during the parade. He's wanting to do a solo is what he's wanting. <laughs> yeah, you know the only rain we've had all morning is at 11 o'clock. Yeah, isn't that the, that's what we were just talking about. I don't know. That is, that is not a question I want to hear. Mark, announce. <laughs> I think they're waiting on something. Will you announce to them thank you so much for raising the flag? We look forward to seeing you in the parade. Thank you to the Eastland Fire Department for raising the flag. We will see you guys driving those trucks in just a few minutes, and we will have our national anthem in just a few minutes. Thank you very much. I think they standing down there for the looking, national anthem. Yeah, they're looking, I don't. They're looking for directions from JJ. I took that hat off. You don't have like a radio? You can go. Come in. <laughs> Come in. Maxwell Smart. <laughs> Maxwell Smart. 
I hadn't thought of Maxwell yeah. Smart in years. <laughs> That's where I live, is in those years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when we thought it was such a big deal. I know, but yeah. that'll never happen. Yeah. yeah. Joe, I just wanted to let you know your guys are still standing out in the rain. I thought they were supposed to be, they're going to raise the flag this and then is they're scaring finished. Me here. I'm not sure. There's no national anthem or anything happening. Y'all that... just, y'all literally just, that, no, the, the, now the, the, that stays there. Is that recording? And then y'all are, y'all are good to go ahead and go get down not. in the, the rest yeah. of the parade. We will do the Julie's national phone, anthem as the parade is driving on. So. If that makes sense. I just wanted to let y'all know. I just didn't want y'all getting out there getting soaked and wet for too much longer. But it won't I need to know so I know what I can say and what I can say. <laughs> Okay. Yes, I understand. Thanks, Patty. Thank you so much, Joe. Where is it? Where, there's uh -huh. bye -bye. still hauling stuff in. Hey, Bill. Yes, ma'am. Is this is this us or is this JJ? I think that's JJ all the way that he introduces us. Yeah. Is this you? That's me. Okay. What are we starting that at eleven? I, I guess. Or are we starting that earlier? I would start it now if I could. Hey, is, hey, Laura, is JJ want... starting right at 11? Yes. Okay. And then is he going to introduce the national anthem? Yes, All it's in there. signs are going to start going off at 11. Yeah. No. We're, we're good. Really JJ. He starts speaking right at 11. Or you've got a plan? Is that what you're trying to it, say? It's in that book. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to Where's show you all something. This is just, I'm just bragging a little bit. I'm going to tell you. County judge and the Methodist preacher. Let me see them. The Methodist church pulled the horn and out. Oh, yeah. We will start here exactly in seven minutes. It says, I was standing by Reverend, Reverend Singleton when they asked him to come and pull the frog out. Oh. My granddad, Grady, was standing here with him when they did that. Didn't that sound My grandson, Grady, is standing here. I think that's amazing. That nearly 80, 80, what is that, 1928? The math teacher was nearly 100, 100 years. 92, 92 years. I thought that's pretty cool. The two, the two Grady Pipkins are standing here. Hey, there's Nana. Be careful coming up these stairs. You pick up. We announced it that you were going to be a little late. Okay, listen. Nobody I got out of the car, and it was just like... They just I've had it happen a dozen times. Yes. <laughs> but I've never gone home. <laughs> there was no getting around it. It was, it was going to happen. Oh, my. Oh. I need to be hilarious. Do you, uh, do you have a pocket? Okay. I had a pocket. Yeah. And then I had to go change. Neither one of y'all were black. Sorry, I had it either. Oh no! Breather. I'm so glad y'all. Connie Chady says, "Yes, I can hear you. I'm I'm watching the parade on Microplex News." <laughs> well, Connie, disregard whatever you hear that you weren't supposed to hear. Anything incriminating, I, I take yeah. no responsibility. We, we put it, was, it all it on was Jason. JJ. It's JJ and Jason <laughs> Cochran. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Which, my, the Microplex the News is live streaming. Okay, that's what I was saying. I think they call that a hot mic in, yeah. in, you have not yeah. in yeah. Washington, D.C. I have black. I have black. Yeah. We may have to revoke yeah, Julie's fire. privileges up here on the <laughs> stage. <laughs> okay, good. Exactly. <laughs> that wasn't what I was talking about. That's fine. Those you don't like us. Thank you. Ashley, oh, they're so not. Healthy, they're not we gotta start here at home. <laughs> Products is just so you know. Are we short? A bunch of chairs.
So, the other day I was over at the house, right? Well, actually, I was at home. And on a long day, I had my little basketball shorts and whatever. And my was just laying on the couch, so they're, they're covered in paint. And everything else was trying to buy, so it's being a bomb. The storm rolls out. And I'm thinking, oh, crap. So I throw some shirt on, I got my house shoes on. All the windows to the so so I take my shirt off and I'm drying everything out. Right? Uh, so now I'm just in a pair of shorts that are too big and I'm holding them so up in and dry and stuff. It really doesn't matter. Now, the rain's coming down. Yeah. So I go out the back right door, down the alley, we go into house number two. And they're in there tiling, and as the half naked homeless guy seeking shelter runs up on the back porch and Shuffle so won't let yeah. me in, freaking <laughs> out. And I'm going, he's like, what are you like, Oh, oh my gosh. And his eyes are about this big. It was so funny. Yeah, and so I, I was like, all right. Now. So I, I, I got dressed. I was like, no, no. Owner, no problem. Oh, trust me, they watched me the whole time. Dried off the whole school. So hilarious. And he just slammed that door. <laughs> <laughs> That everybody cold? People that weren't here. Alright. She makes some adjustments. Pulled out some people that didn't show. Ready? Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. But I get to. Oh. I do you. it on the other days. Hey, where, where's the car show at? Um, it is back on all of the commerce. Oh, oh gosh, no. Commerce and Mulberry. I apologize. I need to get my foot, like, out of everybody's side. Oh, okay. So, okay. Oh, but I I'm pretty sure I saw it. And then you got a Lacey made it. How are you? I'm okay. I did. I made it. You know. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'll be like that. Okay, I'm thinking this doesn't have the buzz. We're at uh, Eastland, Texas at Rip Fest. I'm probably standing right in the camera, aren't I? Forgot it was facing that direction. Rip Fest 2021. Fixing to start the old Rip Parade. It's supposed to start at 11 o'clock. They held off due to rain. The possibility of rain, which we didn't have. Oh, here we go. On this very spot, 121 years ago, a young man placed the Texas horn toad. We know it as a horny toad here. In the cornerstone of the courthouse in 1897. Fast forward 21 years later to 1928. Uh, about 3,000 people gathered here to open the cornerstone. And lo and behold, that horny toad was still alive. He was known as Old Rip, named after Rip Van Winkle, who slumbered for 21 years. For those that are not familiar with the Old Rip legend, please take the time and go right behind me and read the history of Old Rip, where he is in the window of the Eastland County Courthouse. At this time, I'd like to take a moment and introduce uh, the dignitaries that are standing here with me. Uh, to the far right is Commissioner Cecil Summerberg. Next to him is Commissioner Richard Rosander. Superintendent Jason Cochran. EEDI Tom Bailey. Sheriff Jason Weger. Terry Slavin. Mark Pipkin. And somewhere behind me is Zach and Crystal Dar. Zach's on the commission of the Eastland County, uh, excuse me, City of Eastland Commissioners.
We know that everybody here is going to have a great day, and we appreciate y'all coming to Eastland, Texas for the Old Rip Festival. I'm going to ask Pastor Mark Bachman from Corinth Baptist Church to give our invocation. Would you pray with me? I'm all dear and gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time that we can come and have a festival, and Father, that we can you know, share food and fellowship, and Father, we give you the praise, the glory, and the honor for all that is taking place. Father, we just thank you for your grace and your mercy upon us. Father, we ask you to be with our nation. Father, give us that peace in our minds, in our hearts, Father, for we ask it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. We're now to direct your attention to the flag to the east of us at Seaman and Maine, and we'll have our national anthem. Please welcome Debbie Stewart, Lacey Hayes, and Jody Perez. Oh, see, can you see by the dawn's early light? What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars a perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the hope of the to recognize all our first responders, police, fire, and most importantly, our veterans uh, for keeping Eastland County and more, Thank you very much. Appreciate it. better yet, keeping our nation safe at this time. Uh, at this time, I'd like to introduce our Master of Ceremonies, Mark Pipkin of Eva Iron and Terry Slavin of KATX. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is a great day to be in Eastland. Thank you all for coming out, being a part of this on what was going to be a little bit of a questionable day. But here we are with a little bit of blue sky, cool weather, a nice breeze, and a fantastic parade and a day ahead of us. So sit back and enjoy. Thank you, Mark. And uh, again, welcome to the parade. And we'll get started with it here in just a moment. A few things to take care of. The Eastland Chamber of Commerce would like to thank our sponsors. Aaron's Insurance Agency, Excel Health, All Star Athletics, Barty Metals, LLC, Big Country Title, Blake Fuller Wider Chevy, Blake Fuller Wider Dodge, Brian's Auto, Computers and Signs, Clint Coffee State Farm, Comanche County Electric, Eba Iron, Edward Jones, FM Bank, First Financial Bank, Hip Chick Boutique, KATX Radio, Kennedy Financial Services, Kindred at Home, Love Oak Pharmacy, Outdoor Specialties, Perkins Insurance, Stanley Ford, Texas Bank, The Woodlands, and Weiss Ace Hardware, Duffy's. And our special volunteers, because without these folks, that this event would not be possible. Earlier this morning, there was an old rip 5K and kids fun run in front of Seabird Elementary School. Meals on Wheels has officially taken over the 5K run fundraiser 
If you didn't get to participate, they're always accepting donations to help feed the seniors that are homebound in Eastland. Starting immediately after the parade, check out Brian's Old Rim 35th Annual Car Show located at Mulberry and Commerce. If you're not familiar with where that is, that's just beside the Methodist Church, towards the Methodist Church. There you'll find a large variety of classic and unique Beautiful vehicles on display, including the Shelby Ford Car Club this year. Today's Rip Fest live entertainment will begin at 11. I think that may have been pushed a little bit further down the road. Uh, our local talents lineup include Eastland High School Band, the Old Rip Pageant Queens, Seabird Singers, Dance Studio 99, Eastland Youth Cheerleading Association, Eastland Middle School Cheerleaders, the Doc Rockin' Band, and Miles Williams. The Eastland Chamber of Commerce held the Old Rip Coloring Contest and got several amazing pieces of artwork from all over Eastland County. The winners for each age group are as follows. Pre-K winner, Brindley Bailey. Kindergarten winner, Jesus Vasquez. First grade winner, Bryson Bailey. Second grade winner, Madeline Palacios. Third grade winner, Anthony Vasquez. Fourth grade winner, Lila Orsog. Fifth grade winner, Aria Perez. Thank you to all who participated. Your artistic skills are exceptional. This year's Kids Corner will feature bounce houses, rock climbing wall, toys, and more on Olive Street next to the Big Tent. And why should the kids have all the fun? What? Okay. There's wine, there's wine tasting in the Conley Hotel. Be sure and see that. Our first parade entry this morning, the Eastland Police Department. The Chamber would like to give a big thank you to Officer Eddie Edwards, the resource officer at Seabird Elementary School, for his help in leading the Old Rep Parade on his motorcycle. Yay, Eddie! Officer Edwards will be on the corner of Commerce and Lamar following the parade to let the kids get a closer look at his sweet ride and to hand out law enforcement trading cards along with his fellow officers. Thank you, Eastland Police Department. Our Grand Marshal of the parade, just stepping out of that beautiful Corvette, is Mike Perry. The Perry family moved to Eastland over 100 years ago as Mike's great-great-grandfather was an Eastland surveyor. Mike graduated from Eastland High School in 1962. He's past president of the Eastland Chamber of Commerce and a Golden Deed recipient in 2000. Mike and Alice are a cornerstone of First Baptist Church where Mike has led Sunday school class for over 30 years. From 1984 to 2000, Mike was Executive Vice President of Eastland National Bank, which is now First Financial Bank, where Mike serves on the Board of Directors. One of the founding members who spearheaded and saved the Majestic Theater, which is now owned and operated by Fine Arts Association, as Mike is the past president and serves on that board. Founding president of the Eastland Community Foundation and serves on that board today, Mike was instrumental in the restoration of the Conley Hotel longtime member and president of the Eastland Industrial Foundation, past president of Kennard, Ross Sander, and Perry Insurance Agency. Give Mike Perry a great hand for his life dedicated to Eastland. Thank you, Mike Perry. And passing by is Dias Air Force Color Guard. We'd like to thank and recognize Dias Air Force Color and Honor Guard based out of Abilene. Their mission to represent airmen and America to the public and to the world. Also, we had Uncle Sam pass by Uncle just a Sam. minute ago. Uncle Sam's in the house. Mix up at Eastland Fire Department. The Eastland Volunteer Fire Department would like to invite everyone to their open house on October 9th at Eastland Fire Station on Seaman Street. They will be serving hot dogs and drinks at no charge. Your firefighters will be presenting hands-on demonstrations where visitors can put on fire gear, spray a fire hose, deploy a fire extinguisher. There will be a Jaws of Life demonstration and additional activities for all age groups. If you are interested in becoming a volunteer fire, firefighter, they will answer questions at the open house. Also, the Eastland Volunteer Fire Department will be selling tickets for a Texans 25 Days of Christmas fundraiser at their booth. They will be raffling the tickets the first 25 days of December. Oh. 
What a wonderful look at these trucks that the Eastland Fire Department has. We are very fortunate to have the kind of equipment that we have in Eastland, Texas. Next up, we have the East Memorial, or East EMS Service, East Memorial Hospital EMS, our proud service to residents of Eastland County. Behind that Eastland Memorial Hospital is the old and volunteer fire department, driven by Matt Richardson, I think. I'm not sure. I can't see in there, but we're thrilled to have old and next door to us, helping all the time when we have emergencies. Thank you, old and. Following the Olden Fire Department, we welcome our neighbors to the south, the Carbon Volunteer Fire Department. Behind Carbon comes Ranger, the Ranger Fire Department. Thank you, Ranger, for being here. As these trucks come by, I want you to look at how nice they are wonderful equipment that costs a lot of money and we're so thrilled that we have them in our needs when those emergencies happen i'll do this one okay <laughs> i'll let you and the weather turned out beautiful huh the weather's turned out beautiful. oh Perfect. Maybe we should have done it. We should have postponed it till 11.15. <laughs> I'm landing. Cisco didn't get in there. No. Go ahead. After the Ranger Fire Department, we have next Eastland's legendary Spirit of the Mavericks, Jack Lambert, on his bicycle with his American flag. Hello, JR. <laughs> 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 Next is Eastland Cub Scout Pack 23. Join the Cub Scouts, a family pack, and welcome boys and girls from kindergarten to fifth grade. They meet on Monday nights at 6 o'clock at the First Baptist Church. Okay, this is not right. Uh, this is the... Wow. Mustang book. Next up, we have the Shelby Ford Car Club coming through. Beautiful cars. Shelby yeah. Mustang. Here it is. Oh, the Shelby yeah. Car Club is leading. Crew is Lance Musgrove in his rare 2007 Shelby GT. In this group of beautiful Shelby Fords, two of them won the National Shelby Car Show Award last weekend in Las Vegas. His red truck won best vehicle. I didn't hear what red truck won best vehicle. That'd be it. Next up, we have our best vehicle award, the 1969 short bed Chevy pickup, Hector Gonzalez. This pickup has a 383 Strocker with a little bit of nitro. <laughs> what is this? It's real? It's Sarah Torres. I don't know if it's in his sweet new ride. I don't know what that is. I don't know. AT oil and gas well service. Next up, we have AP Oil and Gas Well Service. Uh, Alvarez Torres. Okay, oh, it didn't yeah, I didn't. Oh, it's okay. Alvarez Torres. It's our AP. So that was Torres. Ranger Ford drag truck. It's not there. She needs it. Just, Just a girl, girl in her tub. What did it take? What is it? I don't know who this is. This is the first. This is the pageant. 
Who is it? Pageant Girls. This old Rip Baby, Baby Miss. Ruby Jane Reed. Yes. In this beautiful truck and float with old Rip on the back is uh, Miss Ruby Jane Reed. Old Rip Baby Miss. Look at that sweetheart sitting up there. Following that, we have Old Rip Tiny Miss Presley Dream Hiles. 2021 Old Rip Tiny Miss Presley Lee Dream Hiles, daughter of Connie and Cody Hiles of Cross Plains, Texas. She prefers to go by the name Dream. Most what? Most, most ripped, ripped out. out. Princess Reed won most ripped out for her, her best parade float. This is Old Rip Tiny Miss, first runner-up, Emma DeLeon, daughter of Avelda and Aaron DeLeon of Cisco. Next up, we have the most creative float, Old Rip Petite Miss, Sharon Lara. Sharon is the daughter of Carla and Martin Lara of Cisco, Texas. Rider is Old Rip Junior Miss, Riley Brienne Thomason. Hey, Riley, you looking pretty up there. <laughs> She's the daughter of Candy Ryle and Van Thomason of Eastland, 10-year-old fourth grader at Eastland Elementary School. Coming up next, we have the Eastland Youth Cheerleading Association. They are, would like to say thank you to their sponsor, Barty Medals for pulling the EYCA float today. The EYCA go to Eastland Youth Football, boys games and cheer and support the Little Mavs. First place non-profit winner for their float. That's our future Mavericks sitting on top of that float. There's a bunch of them, Mark. Good job, Siebert Singers. Now put your hands together for the Eastland Middle School football players. Come support these young men on Thursday nights. for our nonprofit, and we're going to see a cheer.
Next up, let's welcome the Eastland Varsity football players. With Coach Morton. Almighty Maverick Marching Band. This year's drum majors are Ariel Hernandez, Celeste Rodriguez, and Taylor Clark. The band will be performing stand tunes on the main stage later today. Lake Fullenweiler, you can order anything you want out there. Go see some of those salespeople. You can custom order. 
Next up, we have Love Oak Pharmacy, our full-service pharmacy that offers free, free, offers free delivery to Eastland, Cisco, Olden, Ranger, and Breckenridge. And don't forget about the cafe and the Froyo from Love Oak Pharmacy. Here comes the hair shop, located behind Chicken Express on Main Street in Eastland, providing family hair care for all your family needs. They're decorated in decades of hair. Here comes Stanley Ford in the new 2000, nope, that's not the 2022 Bronco. Lariat, Ford F-150 Lariat, Stanley Ford in Eastland. Again, you can go out there and order what you want from that dealership. Hey, Mark, don't you find it ironic that a smile doctor for braces is throwing out candy? <laughs> that is job security when the dentist is distributing candy to the kids. <laughs> the smile doctors. And following up, Blake Full and Wider Dodge driving a 2021 Ram 3500 Dually. And there's more of these at Blake Full and Wider Dodge where you can order what you want. Those dealers are having a hard time getting cars for stock, but you can order a car, get it exactly the way you want. Brand new showroom out on the service road. Next up, we have the Carbon Christian Academy, a private Christian school located in Carbon, Texas. CCA provides the following grade levels, kindergarten through eighth grade. Carbon Christian Academy. That was J&M Welding. J&M Welding, Jason Marks. And that tr red truck. For all your welding needs, go see Jason. Big, big D Welding? Big D Welding and Dozer Service. Cisco, Texas. Repair, gravel roads, structural welding, excavating, and more. Contact Dylan or Hope Casey. Following them is Collins and Sons Plumbing and Grandpa's Tool Shed and Rental. All together, look at that young man ready to run that excavator up there. New plumber in town, you can count on Corey and his crew to get the job done. Over 15 years experience. And his hauling equipment from Grandpa's Tool Room. Ranger College Cheer. Perform at all home basketball games and volley football games and make special appearance at other events. And here is the Ranger Senior Homecoming Queen, Kristen. No. This is, no? This is Gorman. Okay, Gorman. This is the 2021 22 Miss Gorman Queens Court. Natalie Torres, Junior, Miss Baylor Sellers, and Little Miss Everly Ibarra. The Peanut Queen's next. Yep, yep, that's correct. Okay. Oh, that's a cute next up, we have the 2021-2022 Peanut Queen's Court. Consists of Riley Sherman, a 15-year-old, and a sophomore at Gorman High School. Junior, Miss Peanut Queen, is Dally Say, and she is an eight-year-old and in third grade at Gorman Elementary. Your peanut queens for 2021-22. And here comes Dance Studio 99. They've been serving Eastern Community since 2018. They offer ballet, tap, jazz, hip-hop, contemporary, and tumble classes for boys and girls. Check them out, they'll be performing on the south side of the courthouse in just a little while. This is still them. This is still them. Oh, wow. Sorry. You don't have people show class, but it's not all Oh, you know what that 
big truck is, Laura? That's the trash truck. That's trashing. Trash Incorporated. Right there. Dance Studio 99 was our fourth place winner. There's a new trash service in town called Trash Inc. Locally owned and operated rural residential commercial trash collection company. Prices starting as low as $29 per month for weekly service. Trash Incorporated. Conquita Loss. Loss with Carla Garcia, hair salon located at 106 South Conley. Stop and see them. Yeah, that's it. Zilla BJJ. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu classes up next. As well as kickboxing. And a really cool C10 pickup. Any custom, I can recognize that guy behind the wheel. Go see them for all your needs. My last car, the GPS automatically goes to their shop. 2021 Old Rip Little Miss, Cody Ray Scott. Granddaughter of Linda Martin of Eastland, Miss Cody is eight years old and third grade at Eastland Elementary School, or Seabird Elementary School. Next, I'll bet these horses are even from the Rocking Red Ranch. There you go. It's a, a new riding group that rides for all cancer programs. They won the best equestrian group in the parade today. Well, Mark, I think that's a wrap for 2021 Rip Fest Parade. It was a great parade. It's going to be a great day. Look at this weather we've got for this for this parade and this festival. Go enjoy all these booths and all the fun that are laid out here for you today. Thank you for coming. See you next year.